Okay, here's the news. We got a Russian sub that's in trouble. Uh, I don't know if anybody noticed it yet. I scrolled up and looked at the top of uh, the world. Well, let me see what's going on, and we got this information here. Everything's like hush hush, but there was a distress signal. People will hear that uh, when it goes out, because it goes out loud and clear. And here's where I found it on the map. And I'm also going to go looking at. So now remember that I said I seen steamy water at that and I didn't say it there was a guy named code name Eagle that sent uh or female sent a uh on that if you remember here about oh I think it was my first or two one two three well half my first half dozen videos since I've been back well, I've been back a few days I mean I'm, I apologize I've been back like five six seven days uh on the internet and I made a lot of videos because there's a lot of stuff going on uh we had a lot of earthquake action last night let me pull the movie up on that from last night and basically I'm just going to scan through this real fast and let it I'm actually going to let it play also but I'll also skip through a little bit and basically the graphs were going crazy last night so early evening last night okay so I'm going to tap through here because basically I went back to this because I was like well we're going crazy again and no one was really chatting and talking back and forth I know it's a pain in the ass to go to some of the chat rooms that, that there is. I'm not going to name names, but I know you know what they are because they load and unload and they have a little bit of issues and stuff like that sometimes. So I was going through the graphs last night, and then you can just see that the idea is actual factual. I think I'll scroll through this here when I get to this stuff here. And anyway, there was the information on the six point whatever over – in the California area, in the in the Gulf of Mexico down there, Gulf of California, up to a 6.5, okay. The 6.5 on the very top of the screen, and then six point six, a couple six point six. So a lot of action. Let me sk skip through the video some more. Just the idea of all the earthquakes on the East Coast, too, that are showing up. Back to the graphs. There's a lot of ink. Norway had it. Uh, at the very end, I start showing some of the... Uh, I just didn't like <coughs> the video. I put some music to it. And it's, it's just better off to really crunch the data and me blab my mouth off. So the idea that you would get points across... So I'm skipping through a 15-minute video real fast, showing you the actual factual data that this stuff is a shitload of data and a shitload of magnitudes, some small, but the idea that it's East Coast, United States, North America, and it's pretty damn busy, okay? As you can see on the map, and we'll go to the fresh one too and see what's going on. But see, once one's been there for a while, then they disappear. Like you notice the ones up in Canada are gone now off the screen. Except for that one, I ended up going up to that one. And then I show you this one here over in West Virginia also. And they're not going to really be talking about it. They ain't saying, okay, we got a 322 earthquake. And once we make a few videos and a few people get it and it gets a little viral again. And they, they lie on the tickers so it doesn't get really viral. But a lot of people know what's going on. Especially in a lot of the heavy unemployed areas, uh, there really is only a very small portion of the United States that's really working right now. Uh, a lot of overseas money has really, we have a financial world war going on. Uh, people are getting sick of being broke in certain countries. Uh, we have a president that, that's not sticking up for our country on industrial and we're not gaining a lot of jobs anywhere and stuff. We don't have any plants opening and up here hiring a lot of Americans. So here's the info, at the, and there you go. Real heavy action there in Norway, and I'll. There's a little bit on the other ones. As a matter of fact, I think I skipped so fast. But that'll actually work. That it, the rest of them aren't any much worse than that there, but they're getting some action over there. In a very sound area of the world. Uh, we got a lot of animal deaths. Tons of animal deaths. It's in here somewhere. And this this is the biological stuff. These are animal deaths, okay? 
That's the animal desk like crazy. Tsunami information that's not readily available. You click on it, it won't come up. There's one of the graphs from Norway. Might as well let it play for a second. So they are getting some action. And that's that one there. So, so mass deaths of animals. Okay, a lot of people have been making videos of it, and no one's listening. Uh, if they're dying, we could die from whatever's going on. Okay. We know there's radiation out there, methane gases. So, apologize, but the idea that you can watch full screen and freeze a lot of data. So, when I scroll through it and then stream through it, and there's close objects to Earth, and just remember all this little IU action that we have. We have a lot of stuff coming by, so we're going to keep on getting a lot of magnetical action from out in space because the simple fact they have magnetism to them and Earth has its magnetism and the sun has its. And even if something doesn't have a high magnet magneticism to it out there in space, if it doesn't have like gold pyrite pro properties and real Earth mag, okay, there's real Earth mag on here, rare mirth. In minerals here on Earth, and then that's what's important to uh, a lot of battery makers. And there's rare earth in those rare earth object minerals, too, that are out there. That there's probably some minerals on some of those objects out in space that are not on Earth. So you got super volcanoes, they're starting to call that super volcanoes, the ones that are actually blowing their asses off right now. There's some, a lot of more earthquake action. It's because the idea that you have to go from way more than one source. So, because there's shitloads of earthquakes going on all over the world right now. And those are the deaths on those animals. Again, they're calling them biological deals. And basically, I go straight back to, here's my little uh, site. It's been it's a little portion of history. And basically, it's still true. Okay? 130 CPM is bad for anybody. Okay? It's a labor statistical for your safety for OSHA and so forth and so on. 130 CPM will kill you cancer after a while, okay? And sometimes to certain people very quickly, okay? So go to my old Super Giants. There's a lot of links there to go to the RadNet and so forth and so on. And so hopefully we will force this to get into the... And then it's very... The ecosystem up there, it's very... And now the Russians have got us some nuclear problem in the water, okay? Another sub... It's getting pretty disgusting. And then they bury their nuclear waste in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and all kinds of crap. So uh, the UN is worthless. They, ain't doing, they don't do diddly. All they do is help uh, arms suppliers make more money having wars, in which I guess the American economy, I guess I'm not anti having a war someplace, just as long as it's not on our own soil. But we're having a psyops, electronic warfare, political, uh, and that's what we've always went to war for in the past our relatives to protect our freedoms of speech and to be able to own property so forth and so on and it's disappearing because we got a commie in, in office right now pretty much when it comes down to it he's not pro let's go ahead and have competition and American jobs and so forth and so on so North America, wake up, because it's very important who our president is. Uh, I don't want to be a communist North America, and it's starting to get pretty damn close to it. So then we got all kinds of accidents going on everywhere, because no one gets paid any money. Nobody really wants to go to... And anyway, the number one thing, folks, on these nuclear events, and there was Three Mile Island that had one. Uh, they're all having them because of the static that we're getting from outer space, outer space and it is radioactive. You never know if a biological hazard right now is a nuclear problem or not. So there's all kinds of stuff going on. That sub that, that we just showed you up there and also all this other stuff because, number one, they had the Three Mile Island that they, and I don't know if it's going to be out there anymore, but it's not because we're not seeing it because that's not Three Mile Island, but they have a hazmat problem there. Uh, basically, nuclear radii, 
radii is a magnet. Okay, it will go back to its source of coming under the ground, whether it's related to it or not. It's going to hit the closest radioactive form. That's why the Germans shut all their nuclear reactors off. They knew it. There's a lot of scientists. Uh, if you go to my videos, so when you go into my videos, this is one of the latest ones that was showing you basically the future comet that's going to be brighter than hale Bob and everything like that. When you do the shore mole window, you go down there and it's not only do I have the links for that volcano, you cut and paste this link because I can't get it to, it won't just work up, but you cut and paste that and you can go to nuclearcrimes.org, okay? And this is, I think, happens when I'm in my own video. And then you cut and paste that and you'll go to nuclearcrimes.org and you get all kinds of links for nuclear and everything like that. And it's a basic fact that we are at all-time highs of CPMs. And let me go back to my video I showed you lately. And here it is, folks. This is the one you go to for... And let me get it down. I had it centered and then I did the zoom and it's... There you go. You go to this one. You watch this movie. And don't pay attention to the tickers because as soon as it's something about nuclear, something about radioactivity, and I show you the numbers are bad. 133 is bad, okay? And if you go to this video and watch it, it'll show you how I figure and presume and assume that they are flipping this because I've caught them doing it before and they've taken the volume off of here when you go all the way to the right. And just go watch this video and it'll explain to you the actual factual that this is more than likely a later in the day reading. And as soon as it gets that high, then they cut it off, okay? Because they don't want you to know exactly what you got for radiation. But we want to thank anybody that's in control of the Missouri the Springfield, Missouri, Radnet, and the other ones, go watch the video because the idea that at least we're getting the actual truth to you that it's the world is free and willing. You find out what your radiation is in your area and live with little kids in a small area. Now, if you're older and you've had chemo before or something like that, it's not really going to matter where the hell you're at. Maybe a less area will be if you're totally cured, but the idea that if you are possibly needing to have more chemotherapy, if you're in a high radiation area, you might be better just sitting there like a lizard and taking it and not going in and taking, and I'm not a doctor, so I can't give you medical advice. It's just a good idea, I would think. The idea, why bombard yourself? Because your doctor's not going to be paying attention to how much radii is in his background and how much it is every day in letting people know that there is radiation in your area. Okay, so uh, I guess I can basically, I know it's getting repetitive because you could go watch this video, but you need to actually realize that this stuff is actually out there, okay? It's actually even on what they're trying to hide, okay? And I went back to Missouri, but I think I can pop ahead to, they're not showing, I'm showing you that the graphs would really tell you. And there was a guy that had it on there. And I have videos that you can go back. Go back through my video library because it's going to take too much video time to go through. And I have other videos that I have done. And I'm pretty sure they have uh, the mention of radiation or CPM or counts or unhealthy. And I showed you the feeds off the graphs earlier this year. So, because it's going to be a, too much of a pain in the ass to show. And it's... The beta gross is always your CPM. That's your counts per minute. Okay. The beta gross count, as you see on the graph, they have over 300 because what they actually did is they flipped the graph. Normally, this would be up here on this side, and these numbers would be over here, and this is your counts per minute, and the graph would show you where it's at, and it is at 300, and then they have this chart flipped. Okay. This would be up to the left, this would be your very bottom. And they actually are getting 300 readings. And then it just goes, so they have a program now that it just goes straight line and just shows you that green line. So that doesn't mean that it's safe. That means the color for that graph is green. All these counts usually have a different color, okay? Beta gross is green, is the green count. At least of now, of the current time, I can't remember what it was before. I thought it was pinkish or a little bit brownish, pinkish mauve color before. So, and sure, human thoughts go out to all souls that are probably going to get lost or killed on this Russian sub, or maybe that are already dead or that are going to suffer before they die, because the Russians know about it, they've had troubles with subs for years, and who knows, you never know, I would never presume and assume that. Let's just hope they didn't fake an event to make it look like what, that's why the water was steaming, but it could be why that water was steaming on that stream up on the coast.